and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel here today guys to a video that pretty much directly follows on from yesterday. What we were discussing there about players refusing to leave, about La Liga's restrictions, directly following up on that, we are going to be talking today whether or not Barca this summer could terminate contract. Could we actually say, you know what, let's tear that up. We are going to be discussing whether that is a genuine possibility. We're also going to be talking about whether we could see further wage reductions this summer among the current Barca players. And also, the latest on Gavi, as Juan Laporta appears to cast doubt over his renewal. It is all coming up. Let's discuss it. Come on. Because again, guys, following on from yesterday where we spoke at length about La Liga and the restrictions that they really enforced to sort of not only strangle Barca in the league, but many of the other La Liga teams too. And many people sort of from the outside, many non-Barca fans are saying, well, why would La Liga be concerned about Barca not being able to make signings? Why should they care? Why would they be bothered about Barca? Well, just have a look at this. Because a report came out yesterday from Sport, which says that 15 out of the 20 most watched matches in in La Liga throughout the past season, they all involve Barca. 15 out of the 20 most watched games. And among those games, it actually turns out that the top five most watched matches of the last season, they all included Barca. The two Clasicos, of course, Barca at home against Sevilla, Barca at home against Valencia, and Barca away at Sevilla. So Barca, quite clearly, they're quite a big draw. We have quite a big fan base who literally help to put La Liga on the map. There is no two ways about this here. Without Barca, La Liga would be absolutely destroyed. And that, Mr. Tebas, that is a fact. And I just want to follow on from what we were saying there about the fact that if you have these really tight and really strict wage restrictions, but only in one league, if you're the only league doing it, you are the only ones that are going to suffer because everybody else can spend what they like. Everybody else has no restrictions. And just look what happened yesterday. Sevilla selling one of their key players, a key defender there in Diego Carlos, to a mid-table Premier League club. They sold him to Aston Villa. That deal has been done. Valencia have got all of their key players up for sale because they have to do that to be within La Liga's restrictions. Atletico Madrid couldn't turn down an offer from Newcastle for Kieran Trippier in January. It's likely to be the same when they come back this summer for Renan Lodi. When is it going to end? What point do we need to get at here, Mr. Javier Tebas, before you actually say, you know what? This is not helping the league. But of course, guys, when we are speaking about the certain Barcelona players who say, look, I've got a contract. And like we said, there's no problem with that. They were given that contract. I'm not blaming them. I'm not singling them out. But quite simply, we as a club need a solution. And many people have asked the question, and it is being reported as well today, a few rumours about it. Could Barca this summer say, you know what? We're going to terminate your deal. We are going to rip up your contract. We're going to deal with the consequences of that. But you then would be off our wage bill. Could it actually happen? Well, firstly, you would have to say that a contract termination is a very messy procedure. It is seen very much by the club and indeed all football clubs as a last resort option. When there's nothing else that you can do, that is the very, very last approach. But then to be fair... How many more summers are we going to go through whereby we're stuck with these players, whereby we can't shift these players before we are in a last resort situation? And of course, as well, it's very costly. By no means is it a cheap procedure to rip up someone's contract, to send them on their way, because you've got to pay up that deal. You have to pay it up in full, and it is not a cheap operation. But Barca are not broke. Many people actually come here, again, maybe people from outside the club who don't fully understand the financial situation, and they all think that Barca have no money, that we've got no money to pay anyone to buy anyone. That is literally not true. We sign massive record-breaking sponsorship deals. Of course we've got money. What we don't have is the wage allowance. What we don't have is the salary margin to actually act within La Liga's strict restrictions to actually sign and register players. We do have money, which means that technically we could afford strategically to terminate contracts. What I would also say is it has happened before. It's not completely out of the realm of possibility because think of Matthias Fernandes. When Juan Laporta arrived at the club last summer, he actually said, 
You're gone. We're just going to get rid of you. You're out. An email was sent. It was done. And it did happen in that case. And I certainly think at this stage, like the club will be looking around. They'll be thinking, okay, this is very much a last resort. It's not a road that we want to go down. Of course, it's not really a clean break. Lots of things would follow on. Legal procedures, things like this that you have to follow. So right now, I wouldn't say it's a likely thing that we're going to go around terminating contract after contract after contract. But I think the feeling is right now, we've got to do something. I'm not saying that we have to go and do that now, but we can't just sit here and accept this again because I think Laporta feels incredibly frustrated right now, like his hands are tied because I do genuinely believe he wants to change something this summer. He wants to really rebuild the team. You look at his words in the recent interview, he actually sounded really angry with the team. He actually straight up said, I'm disappointed with what I've seen at the end of the season. It's not acceptable to be losing games against Cadiz, Rayo, Villarreal at home. He said, I'm actually disappointed with the attitude of the team. And he said, I'm suffering as much as Chaffee, maybe even more. There's a lack of character in the team. He actually blatantly called out a lot of these players. And I think he does want to change and we do need that. But it's finding the room within these restrictions to make that happen. And I think, again, we are hearing in the media right now about further wage cuts, wage reductions, all these different avenues that we can go down. Barca may indeed meet again with the heavyweights in the Barca dressing room, with the leading figures, and say, you know what? Still, that salary is too high. Is there any room that we can reduce that? Would you, again, take a pay cut? And, of course, it is asking a lot of these players because they, too, have contracts. But, as we've seen in the past... A lot of them do care about the club. So let's wait and see whether anything could be done on that side of things, which again is one of the last resort options. But I think the club right now are absolutely adamant the squad will be strengthened. We have to do that this summer. We have to bring in reinforcements however we can. And we need to take the steps. We need to take the moves to make that happen whatever it takes. But what is interesting right now is the situation with Gavi, because it has been reported over the past few weeks and indeed months by Fabrizio Romano, well-renowned as one of the most reliable journalists out there in football. He has said over and over and over again, it's pretty much all done. Gavi will sign a contract renewal with Barca. He wants to stay. He's going to stay until 2027. And even went as far to say the release clause has been set at 1 billion euros. And all we've been doing is waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for the official contract renewal announcement. But the problem is, that's never arrived. Even now we're waiting to see what's going on. I don't really understand the delay. I haven't understood what's been going on behind the scenes. And Joan Laporta, when he was asked about the negotiations there that had been ongoing with Gabby's agent, this is what he said. He said, we haven't heard that he's accepted it. What we have heard is that he's comparing it and that he will have something to say soon. But he said, we don't understand why his agent is playing games. We don't understand why he's comparing offers. The club's offer, given our salary levels, is more than acceptable. But Laporta there clearly growing tired of another agent here who he says is playing games. Now, right now, we know that Gavi's contract expires in 2023. So it's not like he's going to leave for free this summer or anything like that. We're not necessarily running out of time and of course his release clause currently stands at 50 million euros if somebody did want to come in and pay that it would then be up to Gavi whether or not he accepts that proposal but what I would say on this guys is I still think he'll sign a lot of panic of course especially right now when things are a little bit difficult a little bit turbulent within the club you know when are they not but I do still think Gavi will sign that extension maybe it's a case here trying to raise that offer a bit trying to get a bit more money out of the club but I think we've already shown we're not going to do that whether it's Dembele whether it's Gavi, we have an offer, we have a limit, we're not going to go over that, not for you, not for anyone, because of this mess, because of this mess that we're in, that we have gotten in by just giving people more and more and more money. That ends now, and I do still believe, like I say, that in the end, regardless of what his agent is doing, Gavi will stay at Barca, but of course we all want that official confirmation and that renewal to be done, to be absolutely sure. So please, guys, once again today, please do leave your thoughts in the comments down below. This is certainly a topic in terms of those La Liga restrictions and indeed here, the players who won't leave the club this summer. What do you do about that? What steps do you take now in order to ensure that we can have a good summer, that we can rebuild the squad in the way that we want to without being dragged down and held back by these players at the club? Please let me know, and if you are interested as well, in the Champions League final on Saturday, I've done a match preview there over on More Talk FCB. It's been a busy day today, 
but I hope you're all doing very well indeed. Thanks for watching, guys, and for all of your fantastic support. But until next time, as always, Vishka, Elbasa. Oh, 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 oh.